Hi, my name is Cynthia Lombardo, and this is my icon presentation on Raymond Bassoni, also known as Mr. Teasy Weezy. Raymond Bassoni was born on May 11, 1911, in London, England, to his Italian parents who gave him the birth name of Raimondo Pietro Carlo Bassoni. Later in life, when he adopted his eccentric French persona to fit along with his celebrity hairstylist image, he decided to change his name to Peter Carlo Bassoni Raymond. He later married actress Rosalie Ashley, and they had three daughters together. What really made Raymond interested in becoming a hairdresser and kick-started his career was working in his father's barber shop. He credits his father for him ever becoming successful since he found his passion while apprenticing under his father's mentorship. Raymond went on to open his own salon in Mayfair, England, and eventually developed a chain of salons in the West End. Somewhere along the way, he trained hairstylist and brand owner Vidal Sassoon, who was most famous for inventing the bob haircut. In the 1950s, Raymond's work gained fame and popularity. He is now known as Britain's first celebrity hairdresser. He was the first hairdresser to appear on television, and he even had his own show at Saturday Tea Time, where he would show off his latest hair creations. He was most known for his invention of the modern bouffant hairstyle, his use of hair pieces and extensions for both men and women, as well as his innovation with color. He often used bright colors such as pink, purple, orange, and even green to contrast natural colors in a two-tone, short-length hairstyle. It was on his television show where he was demonstrating his cutting technique and coined the phrase, we'll do a teasy-weezy bit here and a teasy-weezy bit there. This is why he's now known as Mr. Teasy Weezy. Because of his accomplishments in England, he was awarded the title of OBE in 1982, which stands for Officer of Most Excellent Order of the British Empire. This is awarded to individuals who have made major contributions at a local level or whose work has gained a national profile. Some other well-known people who have received this title are J.K. Rowling, David Beckham, and Kira Knightley. His most notable client was Diana Doors. In 1956, he was flown out to the United States by actress and singer Diana Doors for a shampoo and set for a total of 2,500 pounds. This is equivalent to about 70,000 pounds today. This sparked controversy in the media since back then that was the price of a small home. Graceful shape and modern taste combined yet again in the artistic cut of this model's hair. Raymond, the hairstylist who fashioned this original creation, will tell you himself about his new ideas. I call this spring. Finger curls and dagger sides establish the style. And for decoration, a chignon of spring flowers gives a more youthful effect than a bun. Just a touch of peacock blue brings out the highlights of the hair. Now, here we have a fairly flat-shaped head, so I built it up with an Alexander fringe giving height, with shadings of gold luster. A woman's hair is like a work of art. It must have balance and composition. Lines must mean something with every curl adding to the whole effect. There, you see what I mean? Her line is my latest, the cube cut, shaped round the head with right angles at every point. Look at it in profile. One cuts, one shapes, one experiments, and suddenly a new feature is created, the moustache. Not only line and composition, but color too has to be taken into consideration. In this case, by tinting the hair to match the stole and the flowers. For balance, a soft bolster fringe and a modified cube cut. In each case, straight lines and right angles. This is my sea of waves, with deep, deep troughs and magenta coloring to match her green eyes. And just a slight cubic effect shapes her head the way I want it. Here is
is the true cure. With this lovely young model's face showing it at its best. At its best, hair in the hands of an expert crowning a woman's beauty. In this way, the hairstylist, an artist in every sense, makes his own valuable contribution to this colorful world. In conclusion, I really admire Raymond's work, especially his use of natural and fantasy colors together on short, angular cuts, yet still keeping it very elegant, and I truly believe he was ahead of his time. It's interesting how his work was seen as classy and high fashion back then, and in contrast, the multi-tone looks of today are seen as more of an edgy or rebellious style now. His eccentric, flamboyant, and wild persona and sense of style definitely drew people in. He staked his claim in the hair industry, bringing new innovations to the table, whether it be from his extravagant champagne fountains and giant crystal chandeliers in his salons to his personal fashion sense. Mr. Teasy Weezy left an impact on England and the rest of the world.